And guys, let me tell you, we do have some breeder females. That's right here, we have a yellow belly. And look at that head stem, man. Kind of looks like a four leaf clover, doesn't it? Again, we have another proven breeder, and she is ready to breed. And as you can see, this right here is a black pastel clown, 100% head hypo. What's up, YouTube? Oh my goodness, we are doing another, uh, what do we call last time? What we have for sale? What's yeah. for sale? What snakes are for sale? And guys, let me tell you, we do have some breeder females. That's the, that's the messages I get the most. We actually have more females than males on this. What do we have for sale Wednesday? Um, AEP. What do we have for sale Wednesday? <laughs> I was gonna try to go with another one, but um, I hope you guys enjoy this uh, vlog. So if you guys are excited as I am, let's start off with the first snake, because I'm telling you right now, we have some bangers. All right, so let's start off right now. All right, so before I start this vlog, remember guys, whoever sends me the first email and deposit is gonna be the person that purchased the snakes. Last time, I started getting a lot of emails and everything sold out within the first two hours. So remember, get those emails in right away. If you guys need some further information, I'll reply as quick as possible, and then you guys send your deposit or pay in full and then we'll get these uh, bad boys shipped out to you so we're gonna start off first with this proven and she's ready to breed she's at 15 millimeter follicles jungle woma female so check this out right here man this girl is pretty and you can see how big she is man she's already building if she doesn't go this week i will be keeping her and i will be putting her to something but i have got everything that i wanted from this girl for you guys that are not familiar with the jungle woman i'm gonna show you guys a quick little combo that i made and then i ended up purchasing an actual visual clown from justin so let me put this girl away and again she is proven she did lay uh, eight, eight eggs for us last year and she's ready to go right now with 15 millimeter follicles she's about 2,000 grams so let me show you what we made from her and then what visual clown i purchased and this is what i actually had made i had bred a spot nose pastel yellow belly clown to a pastel jungle woma and this is what i ended up keeping back just because how crazy her pattern is and as you guys can see right here we have a spot nose pastel jungle woma 100 head clown it almost looks like puzzle like a little bit but after seeing the combinations that justin has made on the jungle woma clowns i fell in love with it man so she's definitely a good girl to start you know getting some recessive genes as far as pie desert ghost clowns and etc so again this right here is a spot nose pastel jungle woma 100 head clown hold back all right you guys are going to be blown away so right here we have a yellow belly jungle woma clown and look at that head stem man kind of looks like a four leaf clover doesn't it yeah but yeah look at her man beautiful beautiful girl can't wait to get some more visual combos can't wait to see how this looks with spot nose but again right here you could see you know what jungle woman does and it definitely breaks down the pattern i mean it just looks so much busier so yeah guys jungle woman is definitely something to get into and she is a proven breeder and it's ready to breed so remember the last two snakes i showed one of them's a hold back and one of them's what i'm keeping I'm just showing you guys what jungle woman does all right this next one man actually i'm gonna get a nice little weight for her i don't have a little tub to use but Let's just see if we could uh, get an idea. Okay, put it right in here. And it's about 11, almost 1200 grams. So you guys know, man, I definitely breathe the hell out of her. So right here we have a yellow belly. Look at that. 100% head pied, possible head clown. So again, she's 1100 grams. She is gonna be pretty ready to breathe. This next coming season, she'll be ready for sure. You could just do what I do and just start breeding them now. I mean, dude, I'm freaking, I'm known for doing that. No problems. But yeah, guys, again, this is a yellow belly. Actually, you know what? I got his possible leopard as well, too. I'm not sure if it does have it in there, but uh, it is 100% head pied, possible head clown. And she is for sale. Man, I wish this female was not in shed, but this girl is a banger. And she was a holdback, but I ended up hitting a visual of this. And right here, we have a cinnamon orange dream leopard. 100% head pied female, and she's about a thousand grams. Again, man, I wish she wasn't in shed, but she is very beautiful and very, very bright. Again, let me close her in a little bit. Again, we have a cinnamon leopard orange dream, 100% head pied female. I mean, I'm killing it right now with all the females, right? Right? I give these females about one hour before they all go bye bye. What do you think, Tortoise? I think your phone is just gonna start pinging. 
I think you should put it on. No, you know, I don't give no looks. <laughs> but yeah, another one for sale. Okay, now we're pulling out the big guns. Another holdback. So you guys are probably asking me, like, man, why is this guy selling a couple of his holdbacks? Well, one, I need to make some room. Two, I've been hatching some stuff that's actually what I wanted to hit with some extra jeans. So that's why I'm getting rid of a couple of things. But guys, this female right here, again, she's about 800 to 1,000 grams around there. Right here, we have a pastel gravel spark female. Look at this, man. Let's get a nice little weight from her. Now we can kind of get a better idea. I say she's around 800 to 1,000 grams. Let's see if I'm right. Chill there, little girl. Oh, 1,040. But yes, guys, again, a pastel gravel spark. So this was actually bred to a... Huh. What was your bread to? I don't remember. I don't have the card. <laughs> Neither do I. But I know the male was a super gravel. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is beautiful, right? All right, guys. And again, we have another proven breeder, and she is ready to breed. She's going through a shed right now. It's kind of a little bit of a bad shed. Um, but right here, we have a calico albino, proven female. So for all you albino lovers, this girl is ready to go. Beautiful girl, very, very big. But again, she had a little bit of stuck shed on her from the last shed. Before you get her, we'll make sure she's nice and clean. Man, nothing but female so far. I need to start bringing out some powerhouse males, but again, I believe this is the last female we are gonna be putting up for sale. So if you guys are interested, make sure you guys email me at alwayservolvingpythons at gmail.com. All right, guys, I did not wanna do this. Um, I was gonna hold them back, but I just came across something very similar but a little different. So you guys now have the opportunity to pick up this bad boy right here. And as you can see, this right here is a black pastel clown, 100% hit hypo male. And let's see how much he weighs. Oh, that thing went to ounces. Okay, and right here we have 240, uh, 250 grams. So by this coming this season, that's coming up, this little guy will be ready to go. And again, a black pastel clown, 100% het hypo. If you guys are interested, man, make sure you grab this guy because this guy is a definite, definite powerhouse. All right, guys, and here is another one that I'm gonna let go. It was another holdback, but man, this thing is beautiful. Right here, we have a leopard yellow belly, 100% het sunset now you won't see a lot of these yet man again we're not sure if we've seen a yellow belly sunset or a leopard sunset and this guy is almost ready to breed he's around 300 grams so now i'm letting him go again right here we have a leopard yellow belly 100 percent head sunset and look at that belly right there this guy is beautiful now let me show you one of the last ones that we have for sale. So as, as I was going over there, I realized that for the people that really want to get into the sunset gene, and you know, some of these snakes are a little out of their price range, we do have one normal 100% head sunset male available, and we are having a very good special on this little guy right here. So if you guys are interested, this is a male, and he is 100% head sunset. Awesome little guy. All right, so guys, the last snake that I have, the last male, is actually a holdback of mine. And right here, we have a yellow belly, 100% head sunset, and let's weigh him. He is pretty much, you know, close to breeding size. You're right there, dude. Yeah, so he's about 500 grams. And let's see if he's already producing sperm plugs. See? Yep, see little sperm plugs right there. So guys, if you want to make some sunset, uh, yellow bellies. Here's the guy you need to use. Um, this what this pairing to this was a sunset bred to an ivory. So this is one of the holdbacks that I had. But we already have a couple of breedings right now going on with some yellow belly sunset stuff. So hopefully, you know, this coming season we'll be able to see that. But guys, he is going to be available. If you guys are interested, make sure you email me at alwaysvolumepythons at gmail.com. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, we're going to be doing this every other week. If not, maybe once a month or twice a month, which will mean every other week. Just depend on what we're hatching and what's available. Also, what I'm gonna be doing too is a lot of these females that are laying for us this season, we will be selling them off after they have three meals in them. We just wanna make sure they're, they're back on it. But we are gonna be getting rid of some visual pies, 
some visual clowns, some visual desert ghosts, a couple of crazy stuff out here, man. I'll definitely keep you guys posted. You guys could email me, and if I do have an idea of what I'm gonna be selling around that time, I'll definitely let you know. If not, you guys are gonna have to wait and make sure to watch these vlogs at 8 a.m. in the morning to see what's available. But as always, man, we thank you so much for showing our channel a lot of love, and we, like I always say, we appreciate the support. Till next time, peace.